Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm gonna show how to create this with using Nano Banana and After Effects. Let's get started. So guys, first one, open AI Studio Google and go to try Nano Banana and import, choose upload image and choose image open. Let's delete this prompt text and let's paste prompt. I will share this prompt in the station below and we can delete your text and click run. So let's open image. In this time, I want only this character for turn to 3D model. Let's write here and run. Okay, here we go. Let's open image. Nice. That's good. So in this time, let's save this image. Click here. So guys, time to turn this image to 3D model. I will turn image to 3D model with Tripo and click generate 3D models and go to image text to 3D and click for upload image. Choose this image, click open. Okay, and don't check any settings, just click generate. Okay, here we go. 3D model is done. Let's see, very good. So we can export this model to my computer. Let's click this icon, format, let's choose OBJ and export. We have 3D object model here and material, also textures, normal and roughness textures here. Let's open After Effects and we have simple video here for camera tracking. And I'm gonna add 3D model on here. Let's select this video and drag and drop to create new compensation. Okay, go to choose 10 seconds and edit split layer and delete and choose work area and right click trip come to work area so we have 10 seconds footage video and go to fs presses search fx 3d camera tracker and choose camera tracker let's use for video and click render track points so waiting for analyze in background Okay, here we go, 3D camera tracking is down and we can see points here. And also for detailed analyze, don't forget to click this checkbox. So, in this time, I will use these two points and I have choose three points, right click, create solid and camera. So, let's preview video. Okay. 3D tracking is good let's create a new solid layer right click new and solid add name element 3d click ok and go to fx video copilot element so go to scene setup import choose 3d model and open and don't change any settings click ok and click normalize size and here we go our character is ready so let's move to up and go to create new cylinder and radius let's change right like this and high okay and let's move to down okay and for smooth sides let's change sides 60. And in this time, let's go to presets and physical, use black glass. And for add realistic, go to environment and let's use environment like this. We can find these environment images on Google and select this cylinder. Let's go to click this icon and choose mud here, mirror surface for reflection. Nice, and open cylinder, choose black gloss, and go to basic settings and change glossness for reflection like this. Okay, this is much more realistic. And go to click this icon, enable ambient occlusion. Okay, in this time for add this 3D model on real video, I'm gonna create new plane and change size with scale, move to down, okay, and go to materials, Again, physical, and I will use matte the shadow. Let's use for plane and click OK. Right now, I will add this 3D model on plane area. Select the solid, 
press P. Let's copy all position coordinates. These elements 3D. Go to first group and create group null and create button. Select this null and press P and control V for paste positions. Nice. Let's see. Okay, here we go and select this solid layer. Let's hide and select null object. Press S, open scale and change scale like this and press R. We can change rotation and let's move to here and move to center and select these elements ready go to render settings ambient occlusion let's enable and change intensity 10 for shadow let's open light lighting and choose light agua okay very nice and physical environment we can play environment for better results select this video go to fx presses search effect gaussian blur and choose gaussian blur legacy use for video and go to here we can add some blurness for realistic view and press u for see active keyframes and go to here let's change blur like this and here let's okay and go to some keyframes frames again make more blur and let's keyframe. frame okay very nice and let's preview video okay very nice nice camera tracing and lighting shadow so if I need to render this video for high quality and also high shadow quality, we'll choose this element solid layer and ambient occlusion and samples. I will select 64 samples for high quality shadows. And we can see the shadows here. Also this, we can choose 16 for very high quality shadows. But only preview, I will use 8 sample. So guys, thanks for the watch of my video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like video, leave comments and have a good day. Good luck.